Hi Pisces, welcome to my channel. This reading for today, Pisces, this is your next 24 hours reading. Let us see what is happening towards you, Pisces. What is the message that is meant for you to know, ready for you to know? This is for the sign of Pisces, okay? I'm doing this today in the new moon. Okay, new moon in Virgo. Let's also get a new moon um, message for you guys. I hope you are well. I hope you are fine and safe and doing good. Let us see what is happening towards you, Pisces. What is the message that is meant for you to know, ready for you to know? This is for the sign of Pisces, okay? And of course, Pisces, if you would like to further connect with me, all of the details is down in the description box below. Check out the website. And um, the website will have the details of the products and the services that we offer. We will, we will be doing a donation drive campaign as we enter september october november december we are hosting our charity event in december so all of the you know the money that we will earn in the merchandise it goes to my charity so hopefully i'm hoping that you would participate okay let's see what's coming towards you what can i get for pisces please what's the message for pisces so this is a collective reading we will pick up um collective energy Okay, sorry. Okay. We will pick up love, career, finance, and general situation for you, Pisces. Okay. Okay. All right. So, um, your current energies is the Hermit card. You could be dealing with a Virgo. I feel like there is something that you're preparing. You're preparing something for next month. I mean, as early as now. You're thinking of next month plan, uh, the last four months of this year. You're kind of looking into it, you know. I feel like, Pisces, you're somehow making the most out of 2022. This new moon in Virgo, It's on, we're only at the end of this August month, but you're already planning what you will do in September, in October, in November, and December. And all of your plan, it's bright. It's glowing. It's a glowing plan, okay? I can relate to this because normally September, October, November, December, for me, you know, the last quarter of um, a year, for me, it's about having fun. It's about working hard, vacation, you know, because it's the last quarter. And of course, working out what's best for myself and i'm feeling that in your reading there's something about what will what do i want to achieve in september month um work to myself to my relationship to my friends to my family so there's a lot of reflection five of swords also what do you want to change there's a part of you that what there's a part of you pisces that there's something that you would like to achieve but for you to achieve it, you also need to change something. It's connected to, for some of you, it's as simple as waking up in the morning. Maybe you, you wake up late. And because you wake up late, you don't do a lot of stuff. So for some of you, as early as that, you want to be pro productive. So you don't want to be late. You want to wake up early for some of you guys. You want to stay away from, you know, eating and sleeping late or eating late at night that's, that's, I'm, I'm picking up like wellness in here like you want to be good on your diet on your yeah you also want to go out and about in the sun there's a lot of wanting to catch up with friends face to face also you know for some of you you are ready to have a face-to-face -face meeting with somebody like date for some of you guys but these are all futuristic energy like, it's September, October, November, December. Like, you want to date. You really want to explore something outdoor. Something also connected to dating. You are ready to face someone. Ten of Swords, yeah, you're ready to face someone. It's possible that you have an ex or someone that you did not get, al get along with. Uh, that's one of the highlights of your... There, there was a biggest breakup for some of you. There was a biggest breakup. There was a biggest, I would say hurt or pain that caused you this year uh the last four months it's gonna you will have the ability to patch things up with this person i feel like it's more of mid of december october 20th october to um november that you'll be able to face this person again an opportunity 
I don't think it's a reconciliation right away, but it's more of an opportunity to face the person who breaks your heart. It's actually to set yourself free, you know, from, from, from the Ten of Swords. But all of your vibe in the new moon, it's, it's for the next four months. Like you're so just in advance when it comes to preparation for the next four months for you. Yeah, Six of Cups, Four of Wands. For some of you guys, uh, Six of Cups, Four of Wands, you might be... You might be visiting friends or family for a once. Also, for some of you, you feel so at home. You will you will feel very much at home where you are. Maybe you you have a new job. Maybe you have a new place. But there is a feeling of finally you feel so at home. You know, finally there's something that you feel at home. You feel like you're gonna stay. You feel so connected to where you are right now. Um, at work. I don't think this is love. I think it's more of like a general collective. Like you feel at home. Like it's been like it's been so long since the last time you felt this way, but you feel at home. You feel grounded. You feel like you belong to a place, to a work. You feel at home. Six of cups. Like you have more appreciation of where you live, where you work, your life in general, your family, your friends. Okay. Now you've got a three of wands. Hmm. What's the three of wands? What's coming towards Pisces, please? What's the three of wands? You might travel domestically for some of you guys. Yeah, six of wands and strength card and six of pentacles. For some of you guys, I'm seeing like at the end of this month, you might, at the end of this month, you're browsing something online and unexpectedly you found a very good deal and that is for a travel, like a higher purchase. But there is something that you would acquire, that you would buy. It's normally expensive, but you're going to get it in a cheaper price or a very practical price. Okay, three of wands, six of wands, a strength card, six of pentacles, okay? I feel like it's a very good deal for you, Pisces. You won't hesitate. You will get it right away. You will order it. You will buy it. But it is something that... I don't know, I feel like it's if you buy this, it will give you experience. If you buy this, it will give you experience, memories. I don't think it's an actual product. I feel like it's a ticket. I feel like it's a ticket. It's um, you know, it's 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 something that will give you memories. But yeah, soon. Sorry guys, I'm fixing it because I want to look it. I want to I want to look. I want the table to look pretty. To look pretty. So, um, if you are looking into buying something, acquiring something. Um, something online will pop up and it is cheap. It's cheap. Very, very, um, very, very good price. Okay. And then the next reading is you've got the Nine of Pentacles. You know, for some of you, Pisces, um, you are forgetting, Nine of Pentacles, you're forgetting your strength. You're forgetting your power. Like, the Nine of Pentacles is reminding you, Pisces, that you are very powerful and you're very you have so much talent and skills and you have so much confidence i mean look at where you are right now you know it's it's kind of remind reminding you pisces look at where you are right now you have surpassed all of the difficult challenge in your life you are alive you have so much friends and family and abundance around you so don't forget that nine of pentacles I'm, it's it's a reading where it's reminding you to have confident within yourself because within you lies the strength to you know because this is nine and queen of wands like you're forgetting how powerful you are you are forgetting pisces that you have the strength of a lion and the heart of a i don't know why i'm why i'm <laughs> you have the heart of a polar bear <laughs> like your your heart is soft but you're you have the strength of a lion and that combines a very balanced personality you have for maybe it's time for you to um, be reminded of how powerful how like it's time to re, it's time to kind of remind you Pisces that you are great whatever you do you are great and you have achieved a lot and you can do more. The Nine of Pentacles, the Queen of Wands, you can do more and you can do whatever you want. 
you just really have to trust yourself you just really have to tap into yourself again because the confidence is within you okay i feel like that's it okay yeah magician card the new moon in virgo it's about a manifestation so you can really manifest everything that you want no limits when you manifest you manifest everything that you want you set it you you set it you have a you have a conversation to the universe because you can nine of pentacles you know I mean, this is like this is super duper confident cards remember how you have like nine of pentacles you're very confident queen of wands you've got the fire to lit up inside of you and to create whatever you want in the next four months i mean look at your energy right now it's only august but you're already starting september october november december that's how advanced you are that's how confident you are that's how good you are in terms of planning and that that's that's the fire and desire and the passion to to get what you want everything is conspiring within you biases okay so do do what you need to do you know manifest write down what you want to achieve visualize who you want to be with the life that you want to be with it's a manifestation stage in the new moon so this is your reading pisces thank you so much it is a pleasure having you guys today check out the website check out the products and the services check out the donation drive it will be activated very soon and thank you again guys i'll see you soon bye bye